Okay, so you've parkoured your way up to the top of the dome, or you've managed to take out the SAM turrets at the launch site so you can fly up on top of the building and get the awesome loot that's at the top. Unfortunately, as you get up there, you realise that somebody has just been there and all they've left you behind is crap. And because those loot containers weren't completely emptied, they don't respawn with new loot. We've all experienced it before at some point in time. We've ran up to a box and realized that somebody had just been there and all they left us was crap. Well, today I'm going to show you guys a plugin that takes care of that problem for you with a little added bonus that'll hopefully start teaching your players the lesson of not leaving containers partially full. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully teach you guys all of the different things that you can do to make your island just that much better for your players as well as for yourself. So of course, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as turn on notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. I do put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. All right, so let's see if we can get rid of this annoying occurrence that happens when somebody leaves crap inside of a loot container and we roll up on it expecting something cool. And of course that plugin is called Loot Bouncer and it's available from the UMod website. I'll put a link to it in the video description down below. And basically what Loot Bouncer does is as soon as somebody goes into a container, any kind of a loot container, and even if they just take one item out of it, it's automatically after a certain length of time going to dump all of the rest of the loot out on the ground. This works on loot boxes, trash piles, basically any loot container that you can find anywhere on the server, this plugin will work on that loot container. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and download it and install this onto my test server and then we'll very quickly go over the configuration file. It's not very big. It's not going to take us very long. And then I'll show you exactly how this plugin works and what it does. And then I'll show you a way that you can make it so that you can teach your players a lesson for not fully looting these containers. If this is your first time ever installing a plugin, make sure you check on the video in the top right hand corner right now. It just goes over the basics of installing plugins and what to expect when you're actually doing that. All right, so after we've successfully installed Loot Bouncer, this is what our configuration file is going to automatically generate. This is just a default configuration. I haven't done anything to this yet. So the first option is how much time do you want the plugin to wait before it actually kicks the loot out of the container? By default, this is set to 30 seconds. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to change this to 10. The second line there is asking you, do you want to get rid of the trash pile after all the loot? has been cleared by default this is set to false we're going to actually change this to true empty all the nearby loot so basically what this does is if somebody goes into a box at a trash pile but they don't actually go into any of the barrels or anything like that the plugin will automatically knock down those barrels and bounce the loot out onto the ground it will also then because of the option before it get rid of the trash pile therefore you'll just end up with a bunch of loot sitting on the ground the trash pile will actually be gone time before junk piles are actually emptied in seconds so by default this is set at 150 seconds we're going to change this to 10 seconds just for demonstration purposes so that you guys can actually see it happening right in front of you. So the slap players who don't empty container. This is where you actually get to teach your players a lesson if they're not fully emptying containers. Totally up to you. I find it hilarious when I see players getting slapped on my servers because they didn't empty a container whatever it's up to you whether you want to do this this however does require another plugin we're going to get into that in just a second so if having the ability to slap your players automatically for not emptying a loot container is something that interests you make sure you hang around for a couple more minutes next line is remove instead of bouncing so instead of just bouncing the loot onto the ground do you want to just remove the loot by default this is set to false in our case i'm going to leave this at false but you can make it so that it just immediately despawns the loot instead of just leaving it on the ground for other players to come along and pick up we of course have some identifiers so that we can define how the plugin shows up in chat you can change the name you can change the colors etc and then down below that are just the different types of containers so by default they're all set to true so it's going to bounce loot out of any type of container that is opened on your server if you wanted to leave something like a locked crate or a specific loot container that you didn't want to have the items bounced out of you of course could toggle that one container to false and the plugin won't bounce that loot a good example of that, of course, is the stocking. You don't want the loot bounced out of the stockings every time they're restocked. So I guess I should point out that those are the two items that by default are set to false. So let's save our configuration file. Let's reload our plugin and let's go in game and see what this actually does. All right, so here we are at our first trash pile. We're just going to go into this one box right here. We're just going to pull out one single item and we're going to wait the 10 seconds to see what happens after loot bouncer kicks in. 
And just like I expected, the actual trash pile has gone away. It bounced all of the loot out of all of the containers that were attached to the trash pile and just left them sitting on the ground. If we go back into our configuration file and change this line to back to false, which is what it's at when we go to default, it'll make it so that the plugin doesn't destroy all of the other loot containers attached to the trash pile, and it'll only deal with the one that the player went into. So we'll just save that, reload the plugin, and we can go back in game and find another trash pile. All right, so let's go into this container right here. Let's just take one item out. Now it should just bounce the items out of that little toolbox and not the rest of the containers. And there we go, that's exactly what happened. So all of these other containers stayed intact. It just bounced the items that were in the container that we actually went into. It's up to you to decide how you want it to work on your server. If you're finding that your players are getting mad that they keep going up to trash piles and all of the boxes are gone and everyone's just leaving behind the barrels, then yeah, sure, maybe you wanna get rid of the entire trash pile instead of just that one container. You know your player base, you know what they need to see. So that's how it works on trash piles. Let's see how it works on other loot containers. As I'm sure you would expect, it's going to work the same way. So we just took scrap out of that container. We're gonna wait the 10 seconds. And then of course, Loot Bouncer bounces the rest of the loot out of that container, but doesn't affect anything else around it. All of those other crates are still intact. It's a pretty simple plugin. It's nothing too fancy. There's not a whole lot of explanation required. It basically just comes down to those two different options. Do you want to get rid of the entire trash pile or do you want to leave the untouched loot containers still intact? So how do we teach our players a lesson for leaving partially emptied containers all over our map? Well, of course, we slap them. So slap, of course, is available from the UMod website. It's by the one and only Wolf. I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. And I'll show you how to make these two plugins work together. It's very, very simple. So if this is all we're going to be doing is slapping our players for not fully emptying a container, then you don't need to deal with anything with the slap plugin itself. The one thing that you do need to do is make Loot Bouncer trigger the slap plugin to happen whenever Loot Bouncer activates. So to do that, that's on line six. We just need to change this default toggle to true from false slap players who don't empty containers. And of course, we're going to save our config. We're going to reload Loot Bouncer and then we can go in game and actually test out this slap. And I'm going to headset on for this one because I want to be able to hear what you guys hear. So if we just go into this container, we're going to pull out the scrap. I'm going to step back. And of course, we're going to get slapped here in a second. My health is currently at 100. And in about five seconds, we should get a slap. There we go. We just got slapped. So now you can see my health is down to 50. And yes, you can control how much damage each slap does. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it also gives you a warning in the chat saying, hey, you didn't empty that loot container, therefore you got slapped. So there is some timing issues here that I'd like to bring your attention to. One of the issues that I was having on one of my servers a long time ago is people actually had enough time to leave the location of the loot container, hop back in their mini heli, start flying away, and they'd get halfway back to their base and they'd get this slap. Sometimes it'll knock them right out of the heli. Sometimes it'll slap them so hard that it'll actually kill them in midair. So there are some details as far as the slap plugin goes that you want to make sure that you fine tune to make it so that it's actually going to work on your server. You don't want to make your players mad. I just thought it was a cool feature of Loot Bouncer where you could add the slap plug into it. Leaving loot containers half looted is one of my pet peeves. I absolutely hate it. That's why I like Loot Bouncer and I thought the slap plugin just kind of put that cherry on top. While we're here and I've got your attention on slap, if you do actually want to be able to use the chat command for admins or moderators or even your other players, if you want them to be able to send the slap command to a specific player, make sure you grant the permission to them. I didn't set it up this way on the test server because that wasn't the intention of showing you slap, but you can also use the chat command and actually send slaps to other players. All right, that basically sums up what I wanted to show you guys about Loot Bouncer. It's just a quick and easy, simple little plugin to use to make sure that your loot containers are as updated as they possibly can be. So you don't end up with players on top of the launch site and not getting anything good if that's actually something that's a concern on your server. All right, let me know what you guys think of Loot Bouncer as well as the Slap plugin. I think the Slap plugin is hilarious, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd also like to hear from you guys, what other plugins would you like me to cover? What are you struggling with? What don't you know how to make it work? You should see my list of upcoming videos because there's a ton of them coming. We've got raidable bases, we've got Imperium. We've, I probably currently have 50 or 60 different plugins that I know 
know that I have to review for you guys and break them down and show you exactly how to use these plugins. But let me know in the comment section down below on different things that you would like me to cover. I do this channel for you guys. I don't do this for myself. I already know how to do this stuff. I want to be able to teach you guys. If you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you check me out at patreon.com slash srtbull. You can become one of these fine folks that gets your name mentioned during each one of the videos while you're one of my patrons. Remember, I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So until next week, I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.